Hi guys, how you doing? So, at the beginning of every video, this will be implanted. Implanting things of how I'm trying to uh, dive deep into your subconscious memory. Okay, so tarot cards and stuff will start soon, but if people could literally please leave a timestamp below, so people can, when they see the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, if they've seen it, you can skip through it and then go to the reading, okay? But I very much would appreciate just a moment of your time. So one thing that I really do offer, and it's had great feedback, but it's constant it's constant stuff that comes to me okay so i'm going to teach you about a lot about vi vocabulary but a flair a flair but to focus to focus your energy and direct it to where you're truly supposed to be going of where i can dive deeper into your subconscious memory to literally trigger off the responses of where you find responsibility for one's own actions, okay? Now, a lot of this might seem very kind of physical, but it's physical and metaphysical. It's how we deal things with things in the actual physical that lead to the 3D response of time, which is still time, okay? It's the time of separation that you take where people can take from your subconscious memory and why that is so important and things that people are missing, okay? Because you end up missing in action and not realizing why retrograde still brings the same lesson around again when you think that you've got it, but then someone comes back for round three. 3D, okay, so why it happens in the 3D, because it's an energy tear and an energy flare of physics and also metaphysics, but it's also the response of a flare, so you can have a flare up, flare up and a tear up, but if you have a flare up and a tear up, you're tearing the time space continuum of the seven chakras that run through your body, so this is a lot of stuff that I will teach people about metaphysical and connection of where people still drain your energy psychically. So psychically, it's still projecting forward a focus of where I can focus my energy on your DNA coding system of obviously like the matrix, and it will break down that coding for me that will give it to me to give it to you. It triggers a response. What I've learned through a lot of these Skype call consultations is terms and conditions. It's where there is a term and there's a condition, but there's a condition that's pulled from me that gives it to you. Normally when I speak and I channel, I'm pulling it from you and it's an energy exchange, okay? It's, it's an exchange. So when we learn about energy exchange, it triggers off a response where I can figure out where your coding is of where people are going wrong, okay? But that also pulls it out from me where I learn just as much from you as what you do me. Because sometimes when I'm channeling, it gives you information that is also unlocking those secrets and those depths, depths of desire through Pandora's box. But the depths of desire of all the secrets that are locked away within the subconscious, it pulls them from me to actually give you a response of something that I didn't know myself. So it gives you the information as well as it gives me. So thank you, <laughs> you know, thank you. So I do really much appreciate that because all the people that have returned and people that I deal with on a physical level have had so much great response through how they're now responding to their own subconscious memory because it's fine tweaking your actual your own matrix system of where it will learn uh, hopefully teach you to focus your energy more on the sweet spot where you're unlocking the desire of pandora's box pandora's box does not hold one secret it holds many okay but that is locked and it's not locked down here it's locked in the subconscious memory okay so you will see things appear cards towards the end and it will give you another kind of affirmation or another thing of where I also kind of explain the same kind of thing but slightly differently but the client consultation of Skype calls and other things the exchange of empaths is so important of where trust me you are really missing the secret you're missing the secret and that's why I thought I would leave this on at the beginning for people because it's so important of the first step of what they're really missing and when they go away and you form the separation of oneself is where you end up coming back round for another fight and where it still comes back round as of another lesson with someone else because of a lot to do with what blame is but people think that blame is where you're just physically blaming someone 
there's a lot more depth to it than that. Trust me, there really, really is. But a lot of these secrets and stuff that I give to people will uh, require homework too, but it will give me a lot to give back to you, you know. So there's an exchange of, but um, it really will unlock those secrets of where people are seeking for the answer. It will give you the answer. Trust me, it will put you on your path much, much, much quicker, much quicker. So also over on Patreon, you might find some of these videos in tear where we tear up and we have tier two. Tier two is still a teaching segment that I offer certain videos as well, but there are certain things that I will only do in Skype consultations. Now a Skype consultation is just an equally and vitally important more because uh, what I'm saying, it helps me hit that spot of where you can't find it. That's why I dive into your subconscious memory that helps it dive into my subconscious memory that reflects it back from me to you, from me to you, from me to you. And we form a quality of a connection that is pulling secrets from me to give it to you and the secrets from you of where I can explore your dark side for you. <laughs> Scorpio Ascendant. But it pulls that dark side where I can explore your dark side of your subconscious memory that's here that pulls and draws the focus around so you can more focus on oneself of what we say. But self-worth comes in many forms, many, many forms that people miss. OK, but it will help you focus more on your third eye because people empathically, psychically pull from your third eye that pull you directly to focus it on them. That's the, that's the main part of what you miss. So I can help you balance your vision and help you balance your third eye that will draw balance back to you. It will draw what's meant for you back to you, okay? And to me, okay? So that's something that I offer. Virgo, how are you doing? So we are here with your September. So I'm really hot. Me and my spirit guide, Dave, are back. Dave is my right-hand man. But he's actually on my left. He's actually standing here. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> Dave is my spirit guide. Uh, but that is my greatest fan. So if you see uh, things moving, that's not my spirit guide. Dave moving things, that is literally a fan. <laughs> Never leaves my side when I'm hot. So let's see. So <laughs> let's see, Virgo. I hope you're all right. You might be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer or Pisces, and it might be in your chart. It's not things that are hidden from you, it is. It's what's hidden from you that's the secret. That's the Pandora's box, okay? People always say, someone's hiding something from you. Yeah, <laughs> from you. You're hiding things from ourselves, the stuff that we just don't quite know yet, okay? That's all that is. It's the communication, basically. It's all stem, stem cells from the head that lead us into temptation of not knowing what the future is, even though we want it and need it. So <laughs> the stuff that's locked away is what dreams are made of, of, of where we're walking. Okay. So you might have that in your chart, but a rising or moon. Okay. So a moon sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or rising, you might have it. So you might be a Virgo with that in your chart. Okay. So do apologize for that. So let's go. We just got to get rid of that off the top of there. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. You might be just like, listen, just <laughs> off you go. Uh, what's the uh, bewitched? I'm picking up bewitched. The uh, the nose when it goes. Oh, that's <laughs> Virgo. Some of you guys are going to be in this. Some of you guys are going to be in this for September. Virgo for September. Virgo. Some of you guys are going to be in this. Thank you. Whoa, we've got a few coming out. But this one flew over first, and I'm sure I see it. I'm not doing a card trick. <laughs> what is that? That came out before. That came out before. Listen, there's nothing up my sleeve. I'm not a... <laughs> Why does that keep happening when I do Virgo readings? There's nothing up my sleeve. So, sorry about that, but I thought another one flew over. So, another one flew the cuckoo's nest is what I'm picking up. <laughs> Another one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Some of you could literally be like thinking that. <laughs> sorry, no, I'm not saying that, Dave. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. Do you know what I mean? Well, you drive me crazy over you. Then this has come out in many different readings uh, in the same place. Someone's got your back up, or it's kind of like you can't stop thinking. But it's. It's mirroring a lesson back to yourself. This is mirroring, mirroring, mirroring. So the stuff that I go through, through I can't say, I'm gonna stay off the advice, Virgo, but um, 
I've had loads of clients that are like, oh my God, how did you figure that all that out? And trust me, I'm not really trying to float my own boat, Vogue, I'm really not, but I have figured out loads of stuff that can get you out of situations in life completely. Eights are a lot of power, <clears throat> okay, a lot of power. So you might be like me that has a soul urge number of eight, but either way around, this is too much static listening or watching. This is listening or watching or provoking. The provoking, I just come up that with <coughs> uh, Leo energy. The provoking, it was a film. The, the woking, the awoking, the awakening, awakening. Some of you might be like, this is fear of letting go. This is them or you. But there's a provoking energy around of being worried, worried because of someone might lash out if you reach out. You do, it's like Leo energy, okay, if you see it as a mirror of a reflection of you, if it was a rabid dog or something that you wouldn't, if it was snarling at you or it was very aggressive, the last thing that you do is attack, okay? You don't attack it or it attacks you. You don't turn and run and turn your back on it because it attacks you. Okay, so that's that doesn't mean gen generally in Leo, but what I'm saying is, is that they approach in their own time because they're a fixed fire sign. So meaning approach. So there's approaching, it's approaching and ending really because what it's approaching is this energy here where it's too much mind. There's too much mind. It's like mind you, mind you, you done it. It kind of thing. It's like well you done it. Mind you, mind you. Someone's trying to mime you, mimic you. There's the ending, you see? An ending is approaching, I knew it. I knew it, the ending is approaching. And I think someone's worried that the ending is approaching, but there's questions that you need to answer through these dark periods and dark times. If things are oppressive and dark, okay, what do you see in the dark? Someone could be seeing things in the dark, is what I'm picking up. Or like they're, they're lost in the dark. This can also represent you, Virgo, because it's dark and it's trying to find your way through um, a period of time. Now, this doesn't have to be your love life. This could be work and family and everything. Everything. But a Leo could be wanting to approach you at the waking hours or at the dawning hours. There might be where you're discussing things with someone at the break of dawn, okay, at night, <coughs> and it's a lot of work. This energy regardless means a lot of work, okay? So a lot of work means that you burn yourself out. You're burning yourself out by doing something too much. Now that something is something in the air she moves. I don't need no other lover. So you can't be in denial. You know, you have to let things go to let things in. You can't want love, but want a specific image. Image, okay? Mirror image. It's a mirror image. Because cats are reflectant. You know, if you look at general cats, they attack when they get provoked, okay? Because they mimic. They mimic. Cats mimic human beings and they mimic behavior, okay? They can also get very timid and very scared. And when they're very timid and very scared, cats, they will lash out. They will lash out, okay? So, sorry, my comments, I've got to turn the uh, internet off of my thing. Um, but an ending is approaching and I think that someone's now fearing that there's an ending approaching that's evoking, like... If you're putting out that intention that like, good, you know, and you're really thinking about them, that's, you, you get as good as you get kind of feel, you know? Because someone's watching, but there might be a feeling of someone watching. If you're putting things publicly out in public and you think that they're watching, but you put it out on, the, on a public profile and you're in illusion of like, in your head of like, I wonder if they're watching, I wonder if they can see, I wonder if they're watching, I wonder if they can see. You're provoking yourself. You're awoking and provoking oneself, you know. So what I'm saying is, it leads us into temptation. Temptation, eight. Provoking, it leads us into temptation. Temptation is eight after a day of rest, seven. 
As soon as we awake, we awake with a yawn, okay? The yawning energy might be like, oh my God, this is so tiring, <laughs> right? <laughs> this is so tiring. Having to continue on this path, having to go to work, having to work for someone else, general public also coming from the seven, eight, working for general public still. Or still going through this thing, or still going it, going it for the long run, meaning run <laughs> is what I picked up. Someone's running. So if you're still going through that with the same person, really, you've got to really, really ask yourselves, is that, what's love got to do with it? You know, what's love got to do with it? Do people still think that love is to do with this chasing and running and this strong connection. It's the strong connection that you have of your own reliance. This is a reliant or a un this is a lion. This is the lion, the witch and the wardrobe. Why am I still picking up on this witch thing, man? The lion, the witch and the wardrobe. Courage. Having courage. Thank you, spirit. Having courage. Because someone fears facing something about themselves, about themselves, not the other person, not the other person. Someone is having trouble facing a fear of courage to end something. Now, if you're thinking it's the other person and I'm waiting for them to finish something with them, this might not relate to you, it might. There you go. Oh God, this magician is showing up again. Why is it that I always fear, is what I'm picking up. Why is it that I always fear that this magician pops up? Poof! I've just popped up. So it might be a new person for a lot of you, okay? It might be a new person. But because energy of strength always talks about control, because it does, because you need strength to control one's urges, one's mirror, one's actions and reactions and a counter-reaction of a response of anything that you do or say or think or your vocabulary. Trust me, this, the mind is more complex than you can ever possibly imagine, okay? So be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you're putting out. Because if you're putting out an intent of provoking or doing something, then you get as good as it's... I don't know why I'm picking that up. Because the most important card is, is approaching an ending that appeared appeared missing again someone's appeared missing in action missing out on action but also missing someone's missing in action okay but someone's missing out on action but you're missing out on life you're missing out of stuff where there's a, a, a like you know what you've got to face you know what you've got to face which is the ending but you've also got to face something about oneself always okay face something about oneself so when you face something about oneself, what you find is, is that you reflect energy back from power, which is the universe, okay? So there's power always out there because everybody has a root number of one, and then we grow through ascension, okay? But there is an underlining energy of fear of facing something because it's facing you. A fear of you, not them, you fearing facing something. This is not all of you, but fearing facing something. Why is it that I always end up sharing it? Sorry, Virgo. I'm sorry if I feel if I feel like I'm if you feel like I'm shouting. <laughs> and I might even be channeling, am I? They might be saying, Listen, I'm sorry what I did and what I said and what I done. But that's still the okie doke. You know, because you, you've got to ask yourselves, you probably are. Some of you are saying, it's just not so loud, Miss fucking <laughs> Money Penny. What was that one? Wendy Miller, wasn't it? Not so loud. The puppets, the puppet master. Um, God, what was that? They were all on puppets on strings and it was a black and white thing and then it went into colour. Not so loud. <laughs> Because, because someone's... See, okay, okay Virgo. 
pull ourselves together, right? Soul mate, soul cry. The universe can hear you call. It can hear you cry, but it can also hear you not cry. It can hear you cry for attention. It can hear everything. So be careful what you wish for and what you cry for. Cause don't cry for me Argentina. I heard that song too. Don't cry for me Argentina. Be careful what you cry for. Be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you think. And be careful what you provoke. Because you might prod a lion that might, you know, come back. <laughs> I don't know why I heard that, but <clears throat> for a lot of you, this is not resonating, but I think the universe, well, it does. It hears you cry. It's a soul cry. It's a soul calling. People's calling in life, people get, my calling and be a tarot card reader. <laughs> takes a lot, a lot of work and understanding and learning, but it's not a calling. A calling is, is what you call in, which is everything, everything. Eight is everybody out here, everybody, everybody. Eight. It's all up here. It's all up here. I remember. Do you remember the time? When we fell in love, do you remember the time? Someone is Michael Jackson. <laughs> Freddy is what I heard. Someone's telling the news. Someone's, someone's saying something <laughs> loudly. <laughs> loudly. Big issue. Bugger, 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 bugger. What's going on, bruv? This is isolated at home. Stop isolating yourselves, Virgo. Don't take a ticket out of my book, bruv, because I got a I got a ticket to ride. I got a ticket to ride. I got a ticket to ride, and she don't care. Right. I don't know why I come out with that song. You might be listening to that. When I was young, I listened to the radio. I always pick up on some of the songs. I do it all the time because I work all the time. Because <laughs> I'm... <laughs> but incarcerated in one's own mental prison. Because you are lost in a prison of your own device. And you can't believe what it does to me to see you crying. Unhappy girl. Throw your thoughts away, cause you're lost in a prison. Crying. Cry, cry, cry. Cry, cry, cry. I'm gonna cry myself blind. Cry myself blind. Okay, so you've got two eights, right? That's the universe of mind control and mind power. Oh my God, it appears again. <laughs> oh dear, Virgo. Oh dear, diary. What can the matter be? Reach out for a Skype consultation, bruv. <laughs> Let me get you out of this. Let me get you out of this. Okay. Seventeen. Eight. <laughs> Eight. It's going around and around and around. It's not a game. It's not a merry-go-round. You know, I can show you why it comes back around. I can show you why retrograde happens. I can tell you. I can show you and tell you. I can tell you why retrograde happens. I can tell you why this continues to happen. Trust me. Trust me. Okay. Because there's a distrust in the air. <laughs> there's a distrust in the air waves, in the ethers. Okay? Steve, stop teaching. <laughs> okay? 
So you're reflecting an eight to an eight to an eight. Two and eight, bruv. What's the two and eight? It's not. <laughs> two and eight. Ten. <laughs> oh. Two and eight. Two and eight is an argument. Twos and eights. Psh, twos and eights, bruv. It's just twos and eights. It's too late. It's too late. It's twos and eights. You might have a life path number two or an eight. Okay, so this is Scorpio Cancer or any air sign. Okay, and you do have Scorpio here. Okay, in a mind prison. In a mind prison. Right here. It's here, Virgo. It's here. In a mind prison. Because you're lost in space. You're lost in eight. You're lost in eight. Don't get lost in eight. Trust me, I have a life path number seven, which is everybody, right? One in seven. And a soul urge number eight, right? Have both of those and learn the fucking hard way. <laughs> That's why I've been doing it for fucking eight years. <laughs> I've had God knows how many awakenings to learn the hard way. No one showed me the right way from the beginning. I learned everything I did off my own back. Well, no, I didn't. I learned by my soulmates. Thank you. Thank you. You see? Thank you. Because there's something that's entrapped and locked in you, Virgo, is really what I'm picking up. And I don't go as deep as this, but... There's something that's locked inside you that happened whilst you sleep or whilst you did sleep or something as a child or something that could have made you fear the dark, okay? It might, might have made you scared because this is an energy that's scared, okay? So I'm not saying that you're a scaredy cat, okay? No, but... It's something that's triggered you off as a triggered response that's triggering something that you're missing out on life, but out in an action of something that's suppressed down. Some of you may know, okay? But you've got to release it. You've got to let it go. Because the provoking... Because what you're doing is, is you're pulling all the energy towards yourself here. This is you, right? This is you. Regardless, you've got a root number of one. So it's everybody, okay? But there's too much swords here, bruv. There's too many swords here. So there's too much mind, okay? Mind over matter. What's the matter, you know? It's linear. It's just energy. Spirits... They can hear you cry. And they can also hear you not cry. But they can hear you cry for attention. They can hear you cry for help. Cry for help. It's a cry for help. Reach out. Because I'm not going to give you all of the keys of the secrets via a terror reading. If you had a credit card... Does your credit card hold money? No, right? The machine <laughs> that you put it in, the vessel, holds the money, the secret to the money that's on the other side. What's on the other side of the veil? Success, right? These are picture cards, bruv. They're picture cards. They're just open channel of a vessel that needs to be pure in order to give it. So you've got to give to receive it. You're pulling the energy back to oneself here. Please continue on this story for where I go. So 
So, we start to move forward. Could be to do with the water sign. But what's in that cup? Oh dear. I see it, I have to say it. The devil. Cinderella is back. Cinderella is back. I'm not going to say too much about this devil character because this is exactly what I do for the Skype calls. Labelling. Attachments. Labelling. You might work at a checkout, like labelling things or something. Like labelling is like check. But checkmate. Checkmate, soulmate, checkmate. There's something that someone won't face, which is this. Fear. It's a card, bruv. It's a card. Someone could have some kind of sexual... Um, something. Because... It, because where's the love? What's the love got to do with it? Someone's giving a message to a Capricorn. Somebody is going to give a message to a Capricorn. Right? But that might be Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anything invading your chart, their chart. But someone's going to offer a cup to the devil. <laughs> someone's offering a cup to the devil. So what you're doing is is that you're tempting fate. You're tempting tempted temptation. Temptation. Cause when the sun goes down uh, what's the song? When the sun goes down. When the sun goes down. When the sun goes down, there's two dark passengers right there. Okay, I'm going to have to cut this channel. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to another card here and then clarify everything see what it's all about, Virgo, for your September. Okay, uh, all the cards will start to appear. There's still the options of um, Patreon or Vimeo Monthly. Okay, but there will be cards that you can use to reach out to either subscribe or to actually reach out and watch another video about... Um, Loads of stuff. I can't even. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> but if you want to reach out for a Skype call, it is the beginning video in this video here or here, wherever it appears. <laughs> don't appear missing. Click on it. Reach out. Okay. If not, go to one of those sites and see what's going to happen, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, sorry that I was shouting at people, <laughs> but but I'm a channeler and I was like, you know, I was thinking. Okay, I've got to go. Cheers. See you soon. Peace.